Hello and welcome back. So here, last time what we did was we created this single page loading system. Now we need to make it slightly better. Now the reason we are going through this painful process of creating a single loading system, in case that wasn't clear, is that a single page system is that we are trying to limit the points of entry. So we have only the index page now that will be loading everything. So that improves um, security. So what we will do in here is we're going to segment the code or defrag or fragment rather the code into smaller, smaller pieces. This helps in debugging and uh, in case your system has a problem, you can go back and know exactly where to go to fix that problem. So once we finish with uh, this particular website, this is a website we're going to use to try uh, our penetration testing where we do uh, brute force and SQL injection. And then we can see how to tighten those areas one by one. So to begin with here, we're going to do the fragmenting of this code in a normal uh, PHP, procedural uh, type of PHP where we use functions only. And then in the next video, we're going to go to object-oriented version. Now, sometimes somebody, some of you may think OOP is a bit tough, so you may want to skip that part. You can skip it, but I would recommend that you learn OOP because I actually have a course on object-oriented programming. Uh, you can check that out. I recommend that because you cannot be a master at PHP if you don't understand object-oriented programming. There's a limit to which you can go, and if you don't go to OOP, you're going to be missing out. Anyway, uh, hopefully that's sorted. it. Now, let's uh, remove this, still on the index page. So, download the code. The code is inside your uh, the description. And what I forgot to mention is that there's an SQL file in there. So once you get that file, go to your localhost system, click on databases here so that we make sure we haven't selected any database. And then let's click on SQL here. And then what you will do, actually not on SQL, just go to import. And once you're on import, browse and uh, add the file there. Once you add the file, you can load the, the database. It's going to create a database called security, uh, security underscore DB, which will come with all the posts and users, uh, users there. That's what we're going to be using for our sign up, login, and posts here. Okay, so now that we've got that out of the way, let's see how we can refactor this code here. So the first thing we're doing here is we change to a single page system. However, uh, this system is not perfect yet. So if we come to our code here, we have an includes page, uh, we have an index page, and we have this HD access file. So we're going to use this HD access file to improve things a little bit, okay? So currently what we have on our index page is this. So we have that echo that shows us we are still on the index page, which is completely unnecessary, but there to just show you where you are and then this is where we get the name of the page and then we check if the file exists so you can put your comments here if you want to just so you don't forget what's going on so this is the includes folder and then here we are collecting files get all files from folder and then here we are adding the extension and then we are checking if the file exists in our array. We're not checking if the file exists on the drive because that doesn't, that wouldn't make us secure. We have to check if it exists in the array and then that's when we include it like that. So this is all good. The only problem is um, we have to look for the get page here, which doesn't make things look good because our URL has to be like this index.php question mark page is equal to and then we add our page name like uh, login page like that or the sign up page so this doesn't look very good what would be nice is to have it do this 
because here it will be like this uh, www.website.com uh, like that slash index.php and then that what would be nice is to have this up to here like so and then we have login like that uh, this is much better than definitely this so in order for us to get rid of the index.php here what we are doing is we are using the HD access file so this one will rewrite things you can still access your page like this no problem but once you do this it will understand what you are doing so we're telling it to rewrite so we're telling it to ignore all actual files here and actual directories the reason is that we may need to load uh, images and images that are inside folders and so on so and css files so those those have to be able to load so that's why we leave these on but also uh, now even when somebody tries to this is for also when somebody tries to load a php file that actually exists so you may want to leave that on so it doesn't disturb the old system but then here we're telling it to rewrite and say everything must be rewritten and what we will do is the result we're going to concatenate the index.php page and put everything into the url uh, variable like this the get url here so just copy everything as it is here and you already actually have the file if you've downloaded uh, the content so just leave it in there since it's already there it's already working so what we need to do now is just go back here let's go to our include files here for a second and what i want to do is go to the home page and right click on includes and create a header file so i'm just going to say this is the header file that way we don't have to type uh, links everywhere all the time so i just want to get this part here this uh, links here cut that and put it inside this untitled paste so this will be our header let me remove the word wrap here so that we can see everything at once so what i want to do is remove all this this href will lead to home okay it's going to lead to home this one will lead to profile this one will lead to posts without the php no php no php and yep that does it however this is not going to work but let's see header.php so i'm saving this as header.php so that i can include it everywhere so on the home page here where i've removed it i just want to do php include header.php so no need to sanitize this part because we are adding a literal value copy this so home page let me put this on all of them so that's a home page um, we don't need an index page in here do we oh yes we do that's for security log in here and come down here right here where we have the index uh, let's add the header posts let's add the header here as well boom sign up do we need a header here as well yes we do paste so sign up uh, login uh, index uh, home header okay we are good we can add the header here as well sorry why you're telling people sorry but uh, they need to be able to navigate back okay so things are looking good now if we go here and refresh the page and i try to click on any of these like uh, posts it won't work here because you see that uh, it's looking for the get variable but then let's go back to our index page but this time what we've done is if I say print readable like this because of the HT access file if I check what is inside the get variable now like this I'll go back here and refresh you see that this URL is equal to posts that the, that's the thing there so that's what we can get now instead of getting from the question mark we're getting directly now if there's nothing here 
it will be empty. So it's good to check if it exists first. When they click home, then it exists. So all of these, that's what's happening there. Okay, so now we can utilize that. Instead of getting from page, we'll be getting from URL. So I'll say URL like so. So if it is set, get from URL. If not, get from home like that. Great, uh, that should solve our problem. So let me come back here and refresh. Now I'm on the login page, see? If I go to posts, I'm on posts. If I go to home, I'm on home. Login, I'm on login. See, now things are working. This was not found. So we are still on the index page though. Now I can go to home like that. Okay, so great. Now we have a robust system that works like that. The only thing we need to do now is let's go and remove this echo here. Since we know that we are always now on the home page, regardless where we are. And now what I can do is uh, I create a functions page. So right here in the includes, I'm going to create a functions page. Now, always remember the tips I told you in the other uh, episode where we have to have a private and public folder. This is important so that the includes are in the public private folder. So let's do that real quickly. I'm going to create a new folder here and this one will be private and I'm going to create another one inside security a uh, new folder and this will be public like so. Okay very good. Now what I will do is I'll open the containing folder so I can arrange my files using uh, the explorer. So here what I will do is this is the public folder. So everything here, HT access, index, this is just a text document to remind me what to teach. So never mind that. Just move these into the public folder. And then the includes folder actually is what will become the private folder. So if you want, you can put the folder in private like this. So we're inside private and then there's includes. So nothing much has changed here. The only thing is that now here we have to say security and then put public in front of it because we've changed folders. But now we can't open any files there. So it's okay. Here we're just going to go to private and then slash includes like that. But private is a folder above. So we'll do dot dot slash like this. A single dot and a slash is the same directory. Two of them, it's a directory above. If you want to go even another directory above, you do this. Okay, so there we got that. Same thing here, we have to include that and say private slash. Okay, so like that, we are good to go. That's all the changes we needed. Okay, so it's saying includes all right, so something weird going on here. Okay, let's go back here for a second. Oh, I see what's going on here. Let me go back to the folder here for a second. I have two index.php uh, files, so I shouldn't have those two. Where did the other one come from? Let me open this one. Oh, this is the old one. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to delete this for a second. This is the one I was editing, the one that's outside. So sorry about that. Make sure that, uh, I don't know how uh, a file ended up there. Make sure that you don't have an index file here and it's only inside the public here. Okay, so let me close this one. I don't know which I was editing here. Things can get confusing. So the index file should be in the public here and the HD access file should be in the same place. So that includes, uh, that includes. Okay, so I can remove this now that I was trying to test here. Let's see what happens now. Oh, much better. Okay, so there we go. Home, profile. Okay, things seem to be working just fine there. Okay, 